In this video, we're going to focus on how to create in React Chart.js an image and how to add them nicely on top of a bar chart. And if I reload, you can see here, the images will move along nicely. So let's start to explore how we can add the image here in the bar chart. So what I want to do is I want to put the images at the very top here of these three bars. To do this, we're going to uh, go into our bar chart.js and in here we're going to create a plugin that will load an image. First of all, let's grab an image. To make it very easy, I'll just grab this image here from chartjs.org. So I right click, open up a new tab, and there we are. This is the source of our image that we're going to use. So the first thing that I want to do here, I'm going to say here enter is a plugins equals and then here an array and we can just say here bg image or anything you want so this will be a plugin and then i'm going to say constant this equals id of the background image and then i'm going to say here before data sets draw so you can choose before or after it doesn't really matter the reason i use before is i want to load the image of the the bars and then at the very top we'll draw the images so we could basically put it completely on the background as well but i will show you that later on so once i did that i'm going to say constant and then say this will be an object destructuring so if you don't understand this please check out my other videos about that understand chart as object destructuring so we have this here and probably i could get the data later on i'll do that so what I want to do now is first of all create an image object. So I say constant chart image equals a new image. And this new image has a source. So I'm going to grab here chart image dot source. And I think it's not source like that, but SCR for SRC. Once we have this here, I want to grab here the image that we have. So I'm going to grab this link here and then we can just put it in here. All right, so now we have this loaded or it recognizes the image that we want to connect. What I want to do now is I want to draw the image and afterwards I'm going to work on positioning it. So I'm going to say image, And then in here we'll get the uh, URL basically of the image. Then we have here the X position, the Y position. And we have the width and the height. So if you don't know the width and the height, well, or if you don't want to adjust the image because the image is already perfect, we can skip this and it will get the image width and height, whatever the image is loaded in the first place. However, we can control it afterwards. So what I'm going to do here, this is the source. I'm going to grab this here or basically the image constant, put it in there. Then what I want to do here, Let's say for now, 100 by 100, that will be the position. So now it is somewhere here. If I go more down, let's say this will be 500. It should be hiding somewhere here at the back or maybe not. Doesn't matter. I will show you later on how we can play around with that. However, you can see what I want to do is I want to load it at the very top here for every of these images. So to do this, what I need to do here is getting the x and y coordinates correctly to do that i'm going to say constant and i'm going to say here the x position and i'm going to grab a function that will give us the coordinates exactly so what i'm going to say here chart dot get data set meta index zero because we only have one index or data set here and then data zero because this is for the first bar chart or bar then I'd say the X coordinate. All right, let's grab this one and put it in here. Save that, refresh. You can see here now it is getting, but it might be somewhere off. And the reason why it's somewhere off is because it is, uh, we need to recalculate the width, but basically it's somewhere in the center. It should be here in the center with some white space here around. If I'm not mistaken, there should be some, some white space around this image. Uh, let's see, we can check that, but I guess if I do here, you should see the white space of this here. That's why it looks like it's a bit off, but the truth is that it is in the center from this point on, and then it's drawing all the way to the right. So I need to push that back a bit. So what I'm going to do here just to make it easier is just give this 
let's say 100 pixel in width and 100 pixel in height save that refresh and you can see now it's changing now we can easily position this so what i could say here i want to minus 50 pixels putting it there all right so now it's nicely in the center next thing is how can we put in the y coordinate it's the same logic as the x position we say y pick y position put that one here and y grab this put it in there say there we are if you look at it you can see it start to move even along but because we have before data sets draw we are behind the data set so what i want to do here what really happens is it draws from here downwards so what i need to do is i need to say this minus the 100 pixels in height that we have of the image and there we are and now we have a nice space here so what i can do is do the same thing here what we could do for that is for example in here uh we don't have a cutout percentage here let's remove that one but in here we could say for example image or images and we can put in here an array for now i'll just make it very straightforward by putting in one two three they're three times the same and you can see nothing changes here we are allowed to do this because this is still a javascript object so we can create and add objects as we go along so now or sorry not an object but add additional namespace as we need so what i want to do now is here say comma data and then i'm going to say here the data will be dot data sets index zero and then here dot data and then index zero in this case but what i need to do here is a for loop or for each loop and loop through all of these values here so what i can do here i need this as well because i need the position of this one as well for example if i say one and one here save refresh then it should be here somewhere but i guess it doesn't show right now so let's start to work on that so what i'm going to do here uh data dot data sets index zero dot and then dot data let's say here for each and then i think maybe not even data sets dot data we can do it just the image image for each and then say for every image i'm going to say here an index function error expression and then we're going to loop through this nicely go in there all right so then we have the chart image and the chart image here will load the image source and the image source will be this item here all the time then of course this will be an index and put that in there and there and if i save this we should see here all the items if you look at this and say oh my goodness it's been clipped off let's solve that as well so what we could do here is add up here additional space what we call grace so we go in here in the scale let's say scales then we go to pinpoint the y scale and then we say grace and we could uh, add up here how many uh, parts let's say five points and as i do five you can see it changes here from nine this is nine plus five makes 14 and there we are that's it